Hey everyone, Will here. In this video, I'm going to introduce you a soft introduction to the step sequencer in Kima, as well as injecting some indeterminacy or random variables via this velocity dice and switch dice. It's a nice way of injecting some, um, some life into the sound that's uh, n not exclusively done by you in terms of turning knobs and faders. So let's take a look at this thing. First thing we want to do uh, is actually grab the synth we made in the previous video. If you don't have that, no worries. You can still pay attention. This is what the final sound is going to look like. What I'm going to do is get my synth, a three oscillator synth from before, which looks like this. And then I'm going to get the step sequencer from the prototype. So Command-B, Step Sequencer. And I'm using the 16 stage. It's already set up for that. It's a nice, uh, nice one to get started with. So I'll double click that. And it looks like this. And then what I'm going to do is just simply drag from my low pass filter onto this VCF, hit replace all. I don't need all the reverb in the original patch there. So now it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. And here we are. And this is pretty well suited to go inside this step sequencer. I'm gonna leave most of this stuff the same. One thing I am gonna change is this log frequency. I like to Think of the tonic in the sequence. So I'm going to change that to tonic note number. But other than that, it's, uh, you can say for what I'm going to do here and show you, it's pretty well suited. Um, so from here, what we're going to do is figure out how to inject the randomness uh, in the velocity and the steps so that it's not something that you have to click on individually. For example, if we take a look at this, you notice I have to click on all of these steps, adjust all the velocities individually, which can be cool. And you could map this to all your MIDI faders and get something going. Or of course you can roll the dice up here, but then it gets super crazy and changes everything. So at this point, we don't have a way to just change the steps that we want on and the velocity we don't have a, a random button so to speak with that so that's what i'm going to show you how to do right now and what we're going to do is get a triggered sound to global controller so you want to hit command b and then triggered sound to global controller will come up from here i'm going to double click inside my generated event i'm going to change this to say vel vel and i'm grabbing that because that's what's over here in the key velocities of the step sequencer so i want to make sure that these match the value is going to be vel dice next random apps and what's that? That's going to grab a random number between negative one and one and then take the absolute value. I don't really want negative velocity values. So this is going to generate a value between zero and one. Gated is good. And then the trigger, we're going to make it a button, is going to be vel dice. So what's going to happen is there's going to be a button in the virtual control surface that we're going to press. When that happens, it's going to generate a number between negative 1 and 1 and then take the absolute value of it to put it in the range of 0 to 1. And that's the first half of this. 
The second half is there's 16 stages, so this has only happened for one of them. So now we need to get a replicator and make some copies so that we don't have to do it 16 individual times. So Command B, Replicator. Drag the replicator from the prototype strip and drop it on the line. Double click the replicator. As I said, we're gonna have 16, so I'll type 16 for the number. There's no audio output, so you can just put zeros there. We do wanna rename the special events, and our special events are just velocity, V-E-L, that's it. And then we wanna increment the suffix, so that's cool, so it'll go from 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, so forth, up to 16, so that that's uh, gonna be our velocity dice there. Next one I'm gonna do, there's a few different ways we could go about this, but I'm gonna grab a mixer, double click mixer, looks like this, and then I'm gonna take this replicator and drop it on here. And then I'm gonna rename this so I don't get too confused to vel dice. Perfect, and then I'll go back to this uh, replicator where we had our velocity dice, the one that's not in the mixer, and we're gonna make the switch dice. So now I can change velocity to be SW, and I'm grabbing that from the analog or the step sequencer here. You see in here that we have these switches, which are like key, key downs, so I'm gonna make that switches, SW, and then my value is going to be SW dice next random as logic value. So again, this is going to generate a random number between negative one and one, but as logic value, if you hover your mouse here, as it'll tell you, basically the only outcome is zero for off, one for on, which is what we want for these steps because they're either on or off. There's no in-between state there. So that's uh, what our value field will look like. And then the trigger, you guessed it, is gonna be SW dice, perfect. And then I've already got 16 there. I just need to change this to SW and then I'm gonna go back over to my mixer, double click mixer, and then here I can just drag that in there, double click the background of the sound editor, and I'll rename this to SW Dice, and then maybe this Dice mixer and now we're done with this replicator that we were building from so I can close that out and now I can go back over to my step sequencer and I'm gonna grab my dice mixer and just drag it onto the plus sign and here we've kept everything in its mixer up there for the dice and then combined it with the step sequencer. And one other thing I wanna do is in the replicator section of these, I want to get rid of this underscore in the suffix. And this has to do with the way Keem is gonna name this. I don't want duplicates. In other words, I don't want two sets of 16 switches and two sets of 16 velocity values and the way it's named. Um, getting rid of this underscore is going to help us. So let's highlight this final sound and press space bar. And here it all is. If it's not quite as clean as this, then hit edit, clean up, and put 16 there. And then also remove your embedding from the, the drop down there. And then we're pretty close. One thing we want to do is change our widgets for switch dice and velocity dice. So I'm just gonna control click and 
for widget type, I'm going to make this a button. And the same thing for the velocity dice. And now you'll see if I press velocity dice, it generates a random velocity between 0 and 1 for each step. Switch dice generates random steps. And of course you can unlock your VCS and move it around as I did in the beginning, but that's the basic idea. And then for your intervals, remember you're moving in note numbers. This tonic is your root. So you might like to snap this to a grid on control click on tonic and then have this move by one so you don't get too out of tune unless that's what you're going for but remember if you're using the synth that we had we have our detune faders over here and then your intervals are snapped to a grid here in note number so each one note number is a half step so we're going down when it's negative up from our base or tonic pitch so then you can come up with your own sequences in there and it's great to experiment with this random uh, parameters there help breathe some life into it without having to move every individual knob it can just really spark an idea so that's uh, one way to bring some indeterminate values and of course this being Kima you don't have to just do them on velocity or the switches we could also do it on interval um, so look for that in a coming video here I'm gonna show you how we can jump to random intervals uh, within certain scales. If we did the same approach right now, it could generate any interval and it could get pretty dissonant. So we want to do a little bit more work there to refine it. So there you go. Have fun with this and I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe if you're into this kind of thing and we'll see you in the next video.